You're watching the Mike Norvell TV Show. Welcome back in. This was a strange game at Tulane. Yulman Stadium, by the way, very little compact place. They say it seats 30,000, but it's, it's a really intimate kind of thing. And I thought the Tiger fans, they were more in number than the Green White fans. Yeah, you know, I appreciate everybody coming down uh, to, to support us there in New Orleans. You know, obviously, uh, yeah, that was, uh, was impressive to see. Um, but, you know, as, as the game started, you know, the first drive, you know, Tulane was able to execute down the field. You know, we're really... Um, you know, they, they were they were playing the game on the perimeter a little bit to start. Uh, you know, you took a couple easy passes, and then uh, um, you know those guys they came out and they executed at a high level. They played hard. Uh, they played physical. You know, they were they were able to spread us out a little bit and hit some uh, hit some runs on the interior. But uh, you know, they came out and they they jumped off to a quick start. They really attacked the uh, defensive line where you are missing three starters from the beginning of the year. But here it is, first play, 47 yards. Daryl Henderson is just simply magic, and that was a great play by the offensive line. Yeah, you know, they, they started off, they tried to have a surprise uh, surprise onside. You know, Austin Hall did a good job of sniffing that out, gave us a short field. Uh, first play, you know, did a great job by the O-line and uh, was able to hit the big run. You know, here we had a fourth and short. Uh, you know, they came out in a formation that we've seen many times, didn't quite execute, left an open gap. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously they, they did a good job in capitalizing that. That's a critical mistake that we can't have, especially in those situations. But, uh, you know, offense came back. You know, John Williams with a, big, uh, with a big catch. I thought we did some good things early, uh, you know, trying to spread the field. But that drive stalled, had a penalty, uh, put us in a long guarded situation. And then, uh, you know, obviously they came back. Uh, another mistake there on a third down. We had them in a third and medium. Uh, you know, left the back uncovered, which is something that, uh, you know, obviously you can't do in, in those type of situations. But a uh, big play there by Jojo Dorsius. I thought, uh, you know, he, he played, uh, he had to play you know, uh, 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 extended number of snaps. You know, him, John Wilson, I thought those guys, you know, played hard. Uh, you know, did some good things. And, uh, you know, came back offensively. Nice, nice job by Brady, you know, being able to work the perimeter. Got the ball out to Tony Pollard. Nice blocking by uh, you know, John Williams there out, out on the perimeter. Uh, but you know, kind of as as the game as the game went, uh, you know, there was a third down conversion to, to Joy Magnifico. Uh, you know, did a good job there after the catch. But uh, you know, as the game went, we you know, we, we kept stalling out on certain drives. You know, we got had another penalty uh, here on this drive, and uh, you know, then you know they did a nice job of coverage, and uh, you obviously get to the quarterback. You uh, you talked earlier in the week about how physical they were, different variations of, of fronts they would send you, and it did kind of confuse our offensive line. He was sacked seven times in the game, and then Jonathan Banks, a big guy, he's 230, and he does what he does best, maybe, make something out of nothing. Yeah, you know, they, uh, you know, they did kind of what, what I thought they would do. They put a lot of man coverage. They, they attacked on the perimeter. Um, you know, they were, uh, they were aggressive defensively. You know, obviously, uh, you know, you look at, uh, you know, the way, the, the key to the game, you know, for, uh, if you look back at it, it's just third downs. I mean, you saw the bank scrambling on the third down, big conversion. Obviously, here's another conversion. Nice throw and catch on, on, their, uh, on their part. Uh, but they converted over 50% of their third downs. Um, you know, you know, I think like 58%. We only converted 33%. I, I tell you, Bryce Huff really did a nice job getting to the quarterback and playing in their uh, defensive backfield. You know, we were down, like we mentioned, you know, quite a few starters on the defensive front. But I thought, you know, those guys played hard, and Bryce showed up and did some really nice things. Bryce was nothing short of Superman in this game. He had two sacks, but he had five tackles for loss. That is a new American Athletic Conference record, and uh, this guy is, is absolutely terrific. And here they are able to get to the edge, and that is a big play right there to stop them. Yeah, you'll be able to be Jacoby come up and uh, you'll be able to get him out of bounds there to one and another big play by Bryce to you know, save uh, you know, hold him to at least a field goal attempt. You know, this drive was a seven minute drive and so it was it was a taxing one on our defense. You know, we allowed a couple of the third down conversions. But to see him hold him to a, to a field goal right before half, uh, you know, uh, that was something that you, we had to try to build off of, and you kept the game, uh, uh, you know, obviously in, in, in a striking reach. You, uh, you take a look at those rush yards, and that will be a big part of the story of this game, along with time of possession. Look at that. Only eight minutes and 42 seconds, and Coach, you only ran six 
offensive plays because that's the way Tulane likes to play. A little like Navy, a little like Army, the uh, the service academies. They like to hold the ball, and they were able to do that. Yeah, and that's something that you know obviously we have to get corrected. You know, we've got to convert third downs on offense. We've got to be able to get off the field or create takeaways on defense, and that's what that's what uh, you know, allowed them to have the ball for that many you know 21 minutes in the first half, 16 plays like you mentioned, and it's just uh, you know it's hard to get get things going at that rate. I thought though some momentum switching here. You hold them to a field goal. You got the football to start. Can the Tigers answer? You'll get the answer in just a minute.